you guys and welcome back to part three of my let's play for Oregon Trail. Before I move on to check out this farm, um, farm place, I want to let you know that I went to the developer's website and found out that there's a free flash game that you can play. I put the link on my Facebook page if you want to check it out. And with that, we're going to go ahead and continue. As you can see, I have a meatball on my head. It's not a meatball, it's a domokin. So, uh, I went ahead and I did some research. Jelly Donut apparently won't die unless his health gets too far down. Uh, we don't want that to happen. There's still no upgrades. I have quite a bit of food. I have no scrap. I'm running out of fuel. <laughs> the only thing to buy is scrap. Well, let's see the jobs. Suicide. Mm, well, we're not even going to try that. Um, zombie activity is low, so we're going to go ahead and try scavenging. I have to say that the the game, the flash game on the website is a lot easier to shoot um, other than this game. Oh, we can... Oh, I thought we could go. Damn. The shooting in this game, it just sucks. The flash game was so much better. Whoa, that crawler is really moving fast. I'm just going to try and do what we were doing earlier. Okay, 115 ounces of food. You also found 10 scrap. Well, that works for me. Hopefully the camera doesn't fall. I think it's sliding. But I can't tell. I hope it doesn't fall again. It keeps slipping. I don't have like the best way to hold it up. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and leave. A bike gang follows you out of the settlement. Oh great. Bandits will try to pull up next to you and shoot, crash into them, or knock them off their bikes. Great. This is just like a little mini game. Yeah, but what happens if you crash? Oh, shoot. How many motorcycles seriously are in Apocalypse? I've got a bad feeling about this. How long is this mini game? What is this? Like Hell's Angels? Bitches. You survived. Well, yeah. Can't we go back and pick up any of the stuff that they dropped? You hit a pretty nasty bump in the... In the what? Something flies out the window. Okay. Brody, stop. He's getting excited. You hit a pretty nasty bump in the road and one muffler flies out the window. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, obviously there's a glitch. You uh, run out of gas. And two fuel flies out the window. Jeez, um. Let's rest for an hour. Also in the flash game, your health goes up without having to use a med kit. Let's get Jelly Donut up to full strength. I don't, I don't have any med kits. Did you hear the radio broadcast today? They say <laughs> they say some folk start for safe haven without carrying spare parts, not even an extra battery. Must think they grow on trees. Hopefully, I uh, hope they're lucky enough to find an abandoned car. Ooh, so you can actually find an abandoned car. We have no fuel. 
We have no fuel. We got no money. Zombie activity is high. You encounter no one to trade with. We've got quite a bit of food. I know someone said don't sell. We want to sell some food. Five dollars. Well, normal, dangerous, ten dollars. I'm having trouble sleeping. I keep seeing movement outside. I think we're gonna have to do that. Um, gas is seventeen dollars. Okay, let's try this job. Defense. This is gonna suck. We all know how bad Morgan is at shooting. Look at that. How could I be so horrible? I don't know how it seriously works. Seriously, the shooting in this sucks. Get back. I don't... I don't like the mouse shooting at all. At least, please have a spare bullet fly at somebody. Where is uh, Clemens when you need him? You survived the attack. You earned $10. Awesome. Even though we just went through like 50 bullets. Let's sell some food. What do we have to get up to? We have to get up to $17. That's not bad. Let's buy one fuel. It's not going to make it very far. Oh, shit, no. We're going to have to start scavenging. I don't know what's going on with the graphics. You stop suddenly to avoid hitting a zombie and everyone gets whiplash. Oh. You see the grave of some poor soul buried at the side of the road. Will you stop to look? Yes. Nick and Kaylee killing it from the grave. You discover food for fuel. Awesome. Thank you, Nick and Kaylee. Are we going to stop here? You slow down to sneak past a large horde of zombies. The remote shack. <laughs> it looked like uh, Evil Dead. And this guy also looks like Resident Evil 4. You buying? What are you buying? What are you selling? Okay, so everyone has whiplash. Have you ever noticed that there aren't any children zombies? I reckon the infection just kills them. Probably means their meat is still good to eat, too. I would eat a child if it meant um, living and starving. So repair. Um, my good buddy on uh, Steam said that you have to have at least seven scrap to do a successful repair. He lied to me. <laughs> oh. This station wagon is going to fall apart. It's deadly. We're not going to do that. Uh, dangerous, $8.00. Okay, so let's go ahead and just rest. Uh, just just a couple hours. Ooh, look at my health go down. I need to get a med kit. We're gonna leave. 260 miles to St. Louis. You spend some time cleaning guts out of the car. I 
I'm a little worried. This hard difficulty is actually pretty hard. Heavy fog rolls in, you are forced to drive more slowly. Well, slower than 30 miles an hour. You try to drive through a flooded street, it doesn't work. Oh, look at the station wagon. <laughs> you hear a sharp pop, looks like your battery exploded. You replace it. Okay. The sky clears up. Zombie activity is medium, zombie activity is low. You rummage one tire off a body at the side of the road. What? Okay. Zombie activity is low right here. Let's stop. And what are we going to do? We're going to scavenge. We have to find something. Is that bullets? Hopefully I knew someone was going to come out of there. Whoops, I just wasted a bullet. What's that? I wish it would tell you. Whoo! This is not low zombie activity. You found zero ounces of food while scavenging. You also found five dollars and fifteen scrap. Okay, so fifteen scrap. I should be able to repair. Eight. It better work. Are you kidding me? We're just going to use all our scrap. We have to. Oh. Stupid. Zombie activity is low. I think I'm going to scavenge again. I'm just going to keep going. I have to. I have to find more. Uh, it looks like we have money. Maybe I just need to take my time with the shooting. They're so fast, though. Oh, this is not good. We can't get hurt. Please don't hurt us. Okay, you found 100 ounces of food and $5. Hmm, okay, so I think we're just going to go ahead and get to St. Louis. Louis! <coughs> Your battery dies, you don't have the supplies to replace it, try trading for one. Are you kidding me? How many freaking batteries? Mm, it's probably like one of the most frustrating things. I should have kept scavenging, obviously, because how much is a battery? $39. Normal. There are a couple troublemakers who have been stealing from us. Dispose of them. Well, we got to try. Shoot. Oh, I was shot! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. So that means I'm probably going to die. This is just bad. This is bad all around, you guys. I don't like how everybody else heals up, and I don't. 
If one of your people becomes incapacitated, they will require extra food to keep them alive. We had to put my paw down a few days back on account of we didn't have the food to get by with him in tow. We're gonna have to go down to small rationing and wait. Let's wait a couple hours and see if the zombie activity goes down. Hi. Our food's getting low. Mm, this isn't good. Deadly. I think that's just random. That's total. That totally has to be random. You encounter the one that wants to trade. We're fucked, man. Crate fell off the back of our car on the way to town. Can you go find it? <laughs> no, because I'm almost dead. What am I going to do? We don't have a battery. You must cross the horde, a horde of zombies in order to continue on the road. The horde in front of you is currently massive inside and appears to be ravenous. Well, let's wait. I think I made a really bad mistake. They're alert. We'll wait. They're agitated. We're going to wait. <laughs> We're going to wait for something to happen. Ravenous. Alert. I think this is just going to keep going back and forth. Oh, the horde size is changing. They're agitated. Ravenous. You know, this is kind of shitty luck. Docile. Uh, let's try to seek through. It's only medium, so we should be okay. And I like how we're going through without a battery. We successfully snuck through the horde. <laughs> We can't go anywhere. Medium, let's go ahead and scavenge. We don't need money. I'm not going to shoot. I don't think I can side scroll either. Shoot. I didn't want to shoot. What is this? I wish it would tell you. I cannot afford health. What is that? Oh, fuck me. Twenty dollars and five, or twenty ounces of food and five dollars. <sighs> Once someone in your party becomes incapacitated, they aren't dead yet. You can use a medkit to bring them back from the brink of death. We have to trade something. Strangers willing to trade you two of their medkits for four of your scrap. We don't have any scrap. A survivor has four of... There's scrap to offer for a battery. I need a battery. We're gonna die. 
Oh my gosh, we're gonna die. I'm gonna have to kill Jelly Donut. Passerby wants to your scrap. Keep waiting. Survivor has one battery to offer you for a tire. Ooh, yes. Yes. Passerby wants six dollars for a battery. No. You meet someone who will spare three of their fuel for one muffler. No. Done. Wait! Where's my battery? I read that correctly, right? Survivor has five fuel to offer for three scrap. What happened? It said a battery. Or did I say no? Has one of their tire to offer for one of your battery. Oh, that's it. It was. But I so that means I lost a battery for nothing. You would think these fools would sleep. A stranger is trading, uh, willing to trade one of their battery for one of your muffler. Yes. I don't care if we don't have a muffler anymore. We have to go. 168 miles to the cave. And that's where I'm going to end this episode, you guys. I am totally screwed. I hope you're enjoying watching me screw up uh, this game and watch everybody die. Uh, hopefully Jelly Donut doesn't turn. Hopefully we don't all starve to death. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye! So you want him basically to come see you. Because then he stands up and he can't see you when you get the spent. Which is kind of hilarious. Wow, this kid is just full of surprises. Quick, get up there and disarm the snook. Hurry! Oh, be careful. I might have also put some bats up there the other night.